Yo, what up? What's good? What's poppin'? Just wanted to chat with y'all, spread some knowledge with y'all, some consciousness. And what I want to talk with y'all about today is, and this is a video for my artists out there, my rappers, my singers, my artists. I want to talk with y'all about something that's very important so you can just be aware that when you when you when you're an independent artist you have more freedom but what i want to talk with y'all about is artists who sell their soul to the devil for the money and fame when an artist sells their soul to the devil for the money and fame they're gonna be given the tools to destroy their soul a lot of these artists they don't have no creative control over their music they don't have no creative freedom they're not able to put out music whenever they want to they're depressed they're rich but they're but they're depressed you go on instagram they they post in pictures of themselves like and and you and you as a normal person you thinking that their life is all fancy and glamorous it's not you know, you, you don't really know what goes on behind the scenes of a lot of these celebrities. A lot of these celebrities be going through a lot of dark stuff that they don't even want to discuss. You know, this is what happens when when you sell your soul. Selling your soul is not is not the answer. Selling your soul is not the move. As an artist, it's best to stay independent. When you're independent... You have creative control. You can put out music whenever you want to. Like, you can go on your social media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and say that your mixtape, your album, or your EP is dropping this date or, or that date. And, you know, you know, you can make sure, like, you're telling them the truth that it's coming out this date or that date. You know, by you being independent, you can release it any date that you want. Me, personally... I'm not down with selling my soul. I'm I'm too real. I'm too real for the industry. I'm I'm not down with selling my soul. You know, like I want to make sure that I have my creative control, my creative freedom, that I'm able to put out music whenever I want to. I mean, if you listen to any of my songs, I'm too real. You know, the stuff that I rap about, the industry don't want to hear that. I rap about conscious stuff. You know, what I mean, I don't rap about popping pills, taking Percocets, sipping lean. I don't rap about none of that dumb shit. You know, the shit, the shit that I rap about is not dumb. The shit that I rap about is consciousness. You know, I want people to be the best versions of themselves, especially the people that support me, my fans, my supporters. I want all of y'all to be the best versions of yourself. I want y'all to believe in yourselves, you know, like. I actually, I actually feel sorry for th for these kids because these kids in school they're listening to to this mumbled rap, popping pills, sipping lean, taking Percocets. Like they they get easily influenced. You know, parents, parents, when when you have your kids in the car with you, don't 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 be playing no mumbled rap. Play play like some some Bob Marley or something, or you could like play some. Wu Tang Clan, the clean version. But if you're gonna play some hip hop around your kids, make sure it's real hip hop. And don't get me wrong, I don't have nothing against these mumbled rappers getting money. Get your money. Everybody gotta make money. Lil Yachty is rich as fuck. Lil Pump is rich as fuck. But it's just the stuff that they rap about is just horrible. You know, us lyricists, we should be able to get our fair share. We should be able to be rich as fuck, too, because we're the ones that care about the culture of hip hop. We we take our craft very seriously. You know, we're the ones that love what we do. We love to rap. We love to put words together. We love to rhyme. A lot of these artists in the mainstream, especially, they have ghostwriters. These rappers have ghostwriters. They just in it for the money and in it for the fame. You know, they don't have a passion for what they do. I have a passion for what I do. And this is not to all of the mainstream rappers because guys like Corday, guys like Jack Harlow, they're lyrical. And I'm, and I'm pretty sure Corday and Jack Harlow have creative control and also Token and Joey Bad, Joey Badass and Denzel Curry. Like, I'm pretty sure they all have creative control 
But yo, th this you know th that's what can happen when an artist sells their soul. You know, like they they have no creative control. They're depressed. It's like they're in a bubble. They're being controlled by the industry. Th they're pretty much a slave. They're pretty much a slave to the industry. <laughs> You know, the the label that they're signed to is just slaving them. Like, if if they were to, like, write a song about conscious stuff, they, you know, they could get let go from the label, which, I mean, w really with a lot of this stuff that goes on, like, as I, as I was saying before, it's like, it's like the music industry is the devil's playground. But, yeah, just wanted to, like, spread some consciousness with y'all. Yeah, just wanted to spread some consciousness with y'all, some knowledge with y'all. You know, like, I want I want my lyricists to be aware of the dark sides of the music industry, even if you just now starting. You know, I just want my people, my fans, my supporters that want to be artists to be aware of the industry, that when you sell your soul, you're, you're going to be given the tools to destroy yourself. Just wanted to spread some knowledge, some consciousness. Love y'all. Don't forget, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell on my channel. Love y'all.